Hi, my name's Ken Colby. I'm the author of Green Screen Wizard. Today I'm excited to give a demonstration of our new advanced hair processing. Now as you may or may not know, hair processing is very difficult in green screen. And the reason for that is that hair is very fine and the color from the green screen goes through the hair and changes the color of the hair to something that is not the hair color and something that is not the green screen. So you may detect it, but the color could come out wrong. Or you may feel that it's part of the green screen, particularly with black hair, and remove it. So it's very difficult to separate the uh, hair color from just imperfections in the green screen. Now in the past, in past versions, what we did is we allowed you to select the color of the hair. And that gave the algorithm some help. And then we came out with the uh, airbrush editor that allowed you to select the hair color and then brush over where you thought there was some more hair to be shown. And that worked really well, but it's a tedious process. So with the advanced hair processing, it we, uh, comes in uh, two stages. The first thing is we now added the concept of automatic hair detection. And so what happens is the software finds the face and then looks around and says, oh, well, the hair must be attached to the face and looks for all the different colors. And as you can see here, there's lots of different colors. Here it's almost black, here it's brown. So it collects up to eight different colors of hair. Okay. And then it goes, once that process is done, then it goes through the whole image and um, looks for tiny hairs. And so that's basically what you're doing. And to turn it on and off, we have this little uh, button here, and you just click it. And now you can see that a lot of the missing hairs have been restored. Let me just blow that up so you can see it a little better. So this is with advanced hair processing, and this is no hair processing. So you can see it's a pretty dramatic difference. Now, there are some adjustments to the sliders that we could have brought some of this out in the old version. But the idea here is that it, it uh, does it automatically. You don't have to really uh, know too much. Now, there are some adjustments, actually only one, and that's you can decrease the effect or increase the effect. So if you click increase, you can see we get even more hair. If you click decrease, the hair starts going away. Now the reason for that is there may be imperfections in the screen and you have to balance out fine hairs versus um, you know having a nice screen or having a clean screen. So let's take a look at a few other examples. So little ch kids, and I'm sorry this is blanked out but I don't have permission for some of these images so um, with advanced hair processing you can see oops, it adds a lot of detail to this uh, very fine hair and still restores it back to its original blonde. This one's a little harder to see, but if you do advanced hair processing here, it fills in a lot of the tiny hairs that would have otherwise gone away. It makes it uh, better. This is kind of my go-to example. Um, the hardest thing is black hair, because black hair uh, tends to, uh, if you bring out black hair, it tends to bring out imperfections in the screen. But you can see here we get the hair and, and no, no new um, uh, imperfections from the screen. So let's see, I think here's one more. Um, kid, kid hair is very fine and so it's the biggest problem. Actually the, the wizard did pretty well on this one, but if you click advanced hair processing, you can see it brought out even more. So now as a side effect of this, uh, with no hair processing here, you see we have these smooth shadowy areas. If there's a smooth area that's gray or that's black, advanced hair processing says, well, that's not hair. I'm going to get rid of it. So hair always has some texture to it. So the downside of using advanced hair processing is occasionally it will erase something that shouldn't be erased. Let me show you the one other problem we have. So 
So here's an example of we turn advanced hair processing on. It actually finds some imperfections in the screen. And you can see how how bad this screen really is. Uh, this guy should let it hang around a little longer. But so you have a choice. I mean, if, if advanced hair processing, you don't really need it here, so I would just turn it off. So those are your choices. The other thing, though, is you can go into the adjustments, and again, you can decrease the effect. And notice here that that is actually going to get rid of uh, some of the backgrounds that the regular processing did not get rid of. And that introduces really the only problem with this. You have choices, so you can either uh, use this to say, oh, I have dark shadows. But now dark shadows isn't getting rid of it. You still have to decrease the effect or turn it off. So to get a clean background, you may have to play with these two, two buttons. But I think for the really amazing effects, um, it's well worth it. So the thing that, the, the slider that the buttons are playing with is this slider here. And so you can see how that can add or detract uh, from the hair. So let's, let's go back to one of our other examples. How about this girl? So this is no hair processing. This is advanced hair processing. Adjustments. Let's go to the details. So again, we can decrease it or really increase it. And you can see if we go too far, we pick up imperfections in the screen. And that's really about perfect. And again, it's probably easier if you see this um, uh, on your screen because, you know, these videos aren't all that high definition. Well, I think that about wraps it up. Now you have a good feeling for what advanced hair processing can do and, and can't do. And uh, I hope you take a look at Green Screen Wizard. Thank you very much.